Hello and welcome to Tabletop for One. Today I will be doing a playthrough of One Deck Galaxy, the spiritual successor to One Deck Dungeon. Please bear in mind that I've had uh, quite a bit of difficulty with the rulebook. I've done my best to learn this game well. The rulebook has some issues, um, some missing information, uh, most of which you can get off of the forums on Board Game Geek. This will not be a tutorial. For the game but um i will do my best to explain things as i go and if i get any rules wrong please let me know in the comments below and i will try to uh correct those on the screen otherwise i appreciate you uh joining me tonight and uh so i'm going to be playing this character here tim tillowinks as the Explorers Society fighting against the Nebel Woober Colony fleet, which is right here. And this is the uh, two star level fleet. Uh, on the other side of this card is a four star level, more difficult fleet. This is the adversary card that you are trying to um, defeat each of the different four levels here. You can pick either side. So I think we're going to go with this side here. And we'll set up all the level tokens for the, the adversary here. All my level tokens here. I start off with two ships in my fleet that's as signified right here. I'm not... Um, I'll, I'll place them under here. It, it can get a little fiddly here, but we'll just go ahead and set it up here so you can see it better. And you randomly draw a card for your science and place it here. So I have three science two fleet and this is the standard setup here now our goal is to remove all four of these adversary tokens here by completing these four goals here the first goal is available right away assuming i can meet those requirements and the next goal i have to be level two or higher next goal level three or higher and the last goal level four or higher once I remove all four of these tokens, I will have won the game. However, I will be defeated according to the guide card here for the Nebel Woober Galaxy or Colony Fleet. Um, at the start of the adversary phase, I am overwhelmed if the ne if the Nebel Woobers have at least twice as many colonies as my Federation level. So right now I'm a Federation level one. So if they have two colonies at the beginning of the, of the adversary phase, then I will be overwhelmed and I will lose. However, if I own one of these tokens, I can discard one of those tokens to skip being overwhelmed for that round, but I better hope to, um, to level up by then. Now this particular character can level up here by um, having no cards left here in the discovery phase uh, during or in the discovery zone during the results phase of the turn I'll go over that later also I can gain these levels here the first one being I have to have six of one resource the second one being I have to have four of two resources for each of two resources and the third one being having three each of three resources resources are noted here so right now i start out with one water right here and uh, you'll see on some of these other cards that when you gain the cards they have resources on them also this particular character as noted on here counts all resources in the discovery zone as if they were attached to my home world. So um, any resources in the discovery zone for any checks will count towards um, my colony or my home world as having those resources. And that, that is important towards leveling up and something you want to keep an eye on. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see, I'm going to explain a couple more things. So the adversary is going to gain influence every round. Um, and it tells here 
that at the end of the adversary phase, if the adversary has three influence, discard three influence, and the Nebel Weavers gain a colony from the deck. Otherwise, escalate. Now, what happens when they escalate, which is going to happen quite often, is we're going to roll as many dice as they have icons here. So the yellow is for the yellow dice, pink for the pink dice, and blue for the blue dice. Also, they might gain some of the tech tokens that we'll use uh, for certain abilities. Think of like the potions in one deck dungeon. Um, so when I roll these dice, which I'll show you in a minute, if any of the dice are this number or higher, the Nebel Weaver Colony will take them into a place called their Horde, which will be, oh, I'll just put them right on their card here. Now, as I remove some of their tokens here, that number climbs, which means that it's harder for them to take those dice. And later on, if we want to gain some of those dice back, there's an action on here called negotiate where I have to spend certain things like fleets or um, 20 value worth of dice or five tech tokens, um, influence from the board here, all, all sorts of things to gain some of those dice back. And uh, we'll need to do that probably a couple times during the playthrough. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move on to starting the game. It starts with the adversary round. And on this card here, it tells you what the adversary is going to do. It says he's going to discard one card. So we'll go ahead and discard a card. And it's face up in the discard pile. And then um, we are going to um, give him one influence. And the influence is denoted by this symbol here. So this is one influence. When he gains another one, we'll just turn this around and it'll be two influence. I'm going to stick that right above his card here. And then since he doesn't have three influence currently at the end of his adversary phase, he's going to escalate. So we're going to roll the three dice that the yellow, pink, and blue that he has and see what we get. So we get a one, three, and a four. Now any that are uh, three and above are going to go to his board. So he's going to capture a blue and a yellow dice from the pool. Now, as he continues to capture dice, that means when I take my dice for my turn, there might not be enough dice for me to roll. So again, you have to be careful with that. All right, so now we go on to the discover phase, and that's where we fill up this area here with four cards. If there are already cards here, then we just fill up the empty spaces. All right, so we're going to take four cards. It doesn't matter where they go, just kind of give yourself a little bit of room because you're going to be adding influence to these cards. So now we start off with two locations. They're the blue bordered ones and two encounters. Now locations um, are relatively harmless, um, but they're difficult to gain. They take time, all right, because you're gaining influence over these locations so that they become part of your um, your colony or your society um, or they provide you with tech. Um, so at the bottom of each of these cards you'll see that there are different tech abilities. I'll show you one here. And this one says you're going to roll a black dice and for each of these two resources, I'll just call them radioactive materials, that's what I call them, you'll gain um, a, three, a, a black die that's value three. All right. Um, so in order to, well, let's see, I'll go ahead and explain this. Yeah. So in order to gain this card, you have to have seven influence on this card and to gain influence on this card, you got to fill in these areas here. So if I put a six blue here and a six, uh, blue here, which I can't actually do, but I'll explain that in a sec. If I fill in these two spots here, I will gain this much influence. So that's three influence there. If I fill in this one here for 11, that'll be two influence. And so if I do both of these in one round, I will gain five influence for this card, but it requires seven to gain the card. So it'll take another round to gain the card. Uh, the encounter ones are different. 
So the encounter ones, if you can fill in their whole areas in one turn, you will gain you will gain these cards right at the end of the turn. Now, if you don't, during the adversary phase, when the adversary gains influence, any encounters in the discovery zone gain influence as well. And when they reach three influence, it causes an escalation. So you really want to deal with these as soon as possible. And we're going to have difficulty dealing with this one, and I'll explain that in just a moment. One thing I want to show you is on some of these, they require uh, or have certain restrictions on what dice you can place here. So this one says no dice with a value of six can be placed here. This one says no identical dice, color, and value may be placed um, in here. So this six would have to be a blue and that six would have to be a black one if we did this here. Um, and then if we have the six blue, six black here, there couldn't be a six blue or black here. So we'd, we'd have to figure that out. But we're actually, I'm going to show you here, we're, we're not going to deal with these. We need to deal with these right away. So now that we've placed out our areas for the discovery zone, we're going to go into the action phase, which is noted here. And um, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, one, one thing. See this exclamation point here? So the exclamation point, um, it means that that's when these two escalate. And uh, I'll, I'll explain that that better if we get to that point. I, um, I actually have not allowed any encounters to escalate in my playthroughs thus far. So when it gets to that point, I may need to consult the rulebook on that particular um, situation. So, nevertheless, we'll continue on here. Now, you'll notice that on some of these cards, they have a circle. This one has circle, it says four, and it shows a ship icon here. This one has a four circle, and it shows a science icon here. That means you have to spend science from your star base or fleet, your ships in your fleet, uh, from your star base to fill in those areas. And in, and in order to do that, you have to use up these blue tokens. Now, right now, my star base is level one and only has one blue token, which means I wouldn't be able to fill up both of these at the same time. And you do need to fill up all this in one go to get rid of an encounter. But I can do this one. And so we're going to focus on that one right away. And um, we're also going to focus on... Um, Upgrading our star base, which I'll explain momentarily. Let's go ahead and gather our dice now. At the beginning of the action phase, we're going to gather our dice. So I get four yellow, four pink, two blue, and then two tech tokens. We'll put those right there. We'll get the dice here. And I'm just going to roll them right here. And just kind of gather them together. Alright, so we really want to focus on this one right here. This one requires 11 in the red, so or the pink. We're going to go ahead and put those two red there. That's 12, so we're good. Requires three fours, and we happen to have two fours and a five, which will be fine because it has to be equal to or higher. And we just need to spend one ship. So again, the way that it works is I have two ships currently, as noted by these two circles here. Turn this around and make that a one ship. And then place this token here indicating that I spent one ship. This is all taken care of. I will get this card during the results phase. So now moving on, we need to deal with these. Now what I'm going to do here is I need to upgrade my star base. And in order to upgrade my star base, I need eight science. Okay. So right now I currently have three science. And I, what I can do is on the star base here, sorry, pick that up again, is I can either probe, which gains me the top card of the deck as science, or study a location in play uh, and gain the science from those locations. So there's three science here, four science here. And in order to study a location in play, I have to pay one uh, value per science, one dice. Sorry, one die per 
science but discounted per influence it has. Now, neither of these have influence currently. So in order to gain both of these as research, I'm going to need seven dice. Right now, I only have five dice. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to look to see if I can gain dice off the board. See, my ability here says roll, um, roll one black or use a tech from an encounter in the discovery zone. So I'm gonna look here and see if I can't gain two dice. And I actually can't, so I, I can. I, so this is how this is gonna work. We're gonna spend this token here and we're gonna use this tech. This deck says roll one black die. So we gain one black die and then for each of these two radioactive material resources that I have, I gain a three die. Well, I only have water, right? Except the ability of my explorers is that I count resource icons in the discovery zone as if they're attached to my home world. So these two here have the radioactive materials on them. So I can count that as being attached to my home world and thus, I will gain that three die. So we're gonna go ahead and gain that three die. And now I have my seven dice that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the seven dice and place them right here. And now that I've placed all my dice, I can't really use this ability token. The other ability I have here is with my society where I can return up to two dice and gain that many uh, black threes. Well, I don't need that right now, so there's no reason to expend that token or mess with that in any way. So we're going to go on to the results phase, and we start with the discovery zone. And so we're going to look at this here, and I've sure enough have cleared this out, and I gain this card. Now, I'm going to decide whether I want to gain this card for its stats on the side or as an extra ability. So the ability is spend a token, gain a black die with a value of my, my um, society level plus two. And so I'm at a society level of one. So that would gain me a black die of value of three. Otherwise, I can gain two more tokens. It's a tough call right now. Um, the two tokens would be very useful later. I think having the extra ability to gain an extra die each round is going to be more useful to me for right now. So I'm going to stick this underneath my my home world card here. And so this is a new tech that I have available. Also, I gain that resource permanently. So now I have one water and one radioactive material resource. Then we go on to the star base and resolve the star base. So now I'm going to spend these seven dice to gain these two cards as research. So now I have three, seven, plus the three here making 10 research. And at the end of the results phase, I can spend this research to upgrade my star base. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It needs eight, but um, I just lose those extra two because I can't make this into eight right now. So I lose the extra two. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and make this into star base level two. Flip this around, and now I have two spots for those Starbase tokens, which we're going to need for this. All right, so that is the end of the results phase. Now we go on to the adversary phase. We're starting a new round again, and so the first thing we do is we discard a card, as noted on the adversary uh, card there. We add one influence to the adversary and one to this encounter. Now we look here and see, does the adversary have three influence? No, it only has two. So we're going to go ahead and escalate again, rolling three dice, one of each, because that's what they have. And we have, um, Two of these dice are over that three amount, or three and over. So we lose those two dice to the horde. 
All right, so now we move on to the discovery phase where we add new cards to the discovery zone here. Oh my goodness, we got one more encounter and it requires nine research. That's kind of annoying. And then now we're going into the action phase and at this point we check to see if this has three um, three influence. It does not, neither does this one. So we go on and retrieve the dice and the two tokens I have here. All right, so we have four, four, and two still. And we definitely want to focus on this one before it escalates too much. We're also going to have to look into this one. This one requires 18 and 18 and nine research. That's a lot. Um, I want to go over a couple more things. Be before I start my turn, I want to mention a couple things. At the beginning of the game, I forgot to mention that you do add these adversary event cards to the bottom of the deck. When the deck runs out, you're going to set one of those aside and that card gets triggered at the beginning of the next adversary phase. And then you shuffle the deck and put the deck back on top of the rest of those cards. Another thing to know is that each of the ships that you have in your fleet can be spent to adjust a die plus one or minus one. Also, you can spend three research to roll a black die and gain that die to use. So there's some really neat dice mitigation that you can use throughout the game here. All right, so we're going to move on to rolling my dice here. All right. Not a lot of big numbers. Okay. So the situation we're in is we need a six, a five, and a five. We have the six. We don't have the five and five. And uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, there's a couple things we can do. So the first thing, first thing I think, um, you do also have the option as in the previous, um, as in the previous game, one deck dungeon where you can take two dice. Let's say it was these two, this five and three, uh, yellow, and you can exchange it for one black die, but it'll be of the value that's lower. We may end up doing something like that in a moment here, but you know what I noticed? I don't even have enough science or fleet for this card. So, um, we definitely need some fleets. And so the way you add, um, add to your fleet is right over here on your star base. If you spend three dice of equal value, you'll gain three ships during the results phase. If you spend two dice of equal value, you get two. And if you spend any one die, you'll get one. So we're definitely going to want to do that. We have three ones. Let's just go ahead and set that up. So we got that. That's going to get us three ships. That'll put us to four. We may want a couple more just to be on the safe side. Um, but we also need four research here as well as nine here eventually. So we need to start building up some research. I've never had so many encounters come out right away. This is, uh, this is difficult. So, um, because we also want to have to deal with, uh, with the adversary. The adversary is going to gain a colony next round. And, um, that'll put it one colony away from winning. And, uh, I'm hoping that's not the case. So we definitely want to deal with this, this six, five, 16. And, um, that's not going to happen this round, but we got to keep that in mind. Also, um, we may want to look at working on this here. So right now we have 13 pink. We would just need four more for that. And we could start getting influence on this card. Um, I think let's go ahead and start looking at using the text. All right, so this first tech here says gain a value, gain a black die with the value of my level plus two. So that's a three die. And then this one here says roll a black die or use a tech from an encounter in the discovery zone. 
and the encounters in the discovery zone don't look too helpful because uh, these two require spending two ships in my fleet which I don't even have two ships this one rolls a blue and um, this one allows me to increase a die by increase one die by my uh, current level which is one so it's not too helpful we'll just go ahead and use this second ability to roll another black die and that gives us a four okay so let's look at getting um let's look at adding influence here i think we should start working on that you definitely want to add more cards um to your character especially when it comes to dealing with um resources you want to have those resources available but we also need to gain um research and let's see that's 17 so that's for sure there and so i can research this one for three but that's not that's not enough. Um, you know, I, I, I think I'm going to take that back. I think, I think we're going to research both of these and then get more ships. It's not a great turn, but sometimes you need to build up your fleet and build up your science. So we're going to put these two fours there, which will give us two more ships. I need a total of seven dice here, four for this one, three for that one. We have seven dice left and we're just going to do that. All right. So let's go ahead and gain. There's nothing to resolve here in the results phase. So we're going to go ahead and look to these here. We're going to gain um, five ships. So we'll turn this one into the two side. So that gains us one. And then we're going to take these two cards. So there's two, four more ships, and we're going to slide these under here. Now we have six ships. And then we're going to take these two cards, and we're going to add them here. And that gains a seven science. And we'll take these dice off. Take these tech tokens off. And that's going to end the round. And now we move on to the adversary phase and they're going to go ahead and discard a card and then they're going to gain a an influence and this is something to keep in mind here so it's going to gain an influence and then it's going to discard that influence you still have to draw that card for that third influence um because one of the mechanisms of this game is you have to manage how many influence cards and fleet cards are under all these different parts because the more that are on the table here the less are in the deck and the more often you're going to encounter events and stuff which you don't want to so just keep that in mind so this one adds to this making a total of three causing the fleet to gain a colony as noted on their um, instruction card all right so then we take the top card of the deck and we're going to tuck this under here. Now this turn they do not escalate. And then we're also adding influence under these two encounters. Just encounters, not locations. Of course there's only encounters here. So now if I do not take care of this this round, this is going to cause an escalation. So we definitely want to look into taking care of that. Alright, so now that we've completed the adversary phase, we're going to move on to the discovery phase, which we add two cards. And look, there's another encounter. Oh boy. This just gets more and more difficult. But let's see if we can't get past it here. So we have four yellows, four pinks, two blues, and two tech tokens. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and roll these here and see what we get not a lot of good news all right 
So, we didn't get the six we need here. We didn't get either of the fives that we need for here. However, we are looking pretty strong to take care of this one right off the bat. Which means if we do go down this road, this will escalate. So we have to be careful with that. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the rule book here. Because now I kind of need to know... Um, You know, if if we're going to really want to try and take care of this, see if it's possible to take care of that one, or if it escalates not so bad and we just, we just take it this time. Okay, so what happens here is that when, at the end of the adversary phase, when this one, if this one has three influence it will cause the adversary to escalate which means they're going to roll more dice and probably keep more dice but i will gain this as a free study so i'll gain all that science as a research and basically you're learning your lesson from that encounter um so if we don't deal with that i guess that's not the worst case scenario we can deal with this right away um, and besides, we'll need more science anyways to deal with this one. So, I think let's just go ahead and deal with this one here, which we can add the 6 on there, the 5 on there, and the 3 on there. And then we can spend 2 fleet, or 2 of our ships in our fleet, which this will just go to the discard pile for that. And now we just need 8 here. And we'll just spend the 5 and the 4 there and now we have um four ships seven science and these here we also have the ability to use my uh text here and i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this ability here with so that's kind of nice and then, um, I think we're going to try and research some more. Ah, it's such a tough call. Yeah, we're going to research some more, and I'll explain why. Because I think it's going to end up being necessary. Actually, we'll do this. I think it's going to end up being necessary that I'm going to have to spend some of this science for these black dice so that I can deal with this next round. Because if I don't deal with this soon and at least clear a level before I level up, I'm going to lose. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish and resolve. So this gets resolved. And I gain this card. Now this one's nice, it's got that ability to gain uh, two ships, or I gain the extra tokens. And, ha. Uh, I think I'm going to gain the extra tokens. I think I'm going to need those later. So we're going to add this here. Notice that the resource still shows, so we know that I, I have two radioactive resources. And then uh, we'll resolve these here. So I'm going to gain two more ships to my fleet. Putting in a total of eight. I'm going to spend these three here. To um, probe. So probing lets you take one card off the top. Turn it into science. And that was a four science one. So that was very good. Okay. Okay. So now that we finished that, set these aside here, we're all done. We move on to the adversary phase. We're going to go ahead and discard a card, add one influence there, there, and uh, we turn this one around. And then we are going to escalate here. So that's going to be now look they've added a colony so now they have they take one tech token here 
and then we roll two pinks, a yellow, and a blue. Okay, roll those there, and all four dice go into that pool, into their hoard. Uh, that's a lot of dice. All right, so now we also deal with this. This is escalated, so or this is going to cause an escalation, so we go ahead and roll that same amount of dice again. Okay, so they gain two dice here. And so now, we're down to four pinks and four yellows in here, which is currently what I can roll, but we're going to have to deal with that soon. And I'll show you how to deal with that. Okay, so now that we've done that, this gets discarded, or these two cards get discarded. So we'll throw those there. I gain this as science. And then, um, now we're going to go to the discovery phase. Discover this one here, and this one here. And finally, we didn't add any more events to the table. We're going to take a quick glance at the resources because we want to see if we leveled up at all. And so this one is a radioactive resource. That means we have three. We have two water and two of the, the, uh, the fruit resource or whatever that is. Which means we haven't leveled up yet, haven't met any of our level up criteria. So we either have to deal with this in two turns or level up. Let's go ahead and roll the dice, and we'll gain our uh, four tokens now that we have. Mm. All right. Got some good numbers this time. Good numbers and a uh, tough choice to make. So we can deal with this which will prevent an escalate next turn. Or we can deal with this. Now, on top of that, we have the option of negotiating for those dice. So to negotiate for those dice, for the yellow dice, I can spend six science and gain those dice back to the pool. Two of those dice I'll actually get to roll for this round. So that's actually a pretty decent amount, and I may want to consider doing that. Also, I can spend four uh, ships for all the purple ones. Again, you're going to get half of them rounded up to roll right now and use. So I think... I think I'm going to do the, the pink ones here. I'm going to spend four ships... We'll gain all four pink ones. I want to save the science, though, because I want to use the science either here or there. Um, probably here, because I think we're going to try and take care of this card. So I gain two of these dice and a five and a six. That's really, really good. So this is what we're going to do. So first of all, I need 18 blue, which I have 12 there. Let's start using some of these abilities. I can gain a black three for the one ability. I can return two dice and gain two black threes. So we return these two ones, gain a three and a three. So if I put these right here, we finished off that blue. All right, now we just need 18 yellow. And then this last ability I have, um, I can use one of these abilities, like this one. Or I can use this one. So we're going to use this one here. It says roll a black die. Okay, that's a one. But increase a number of your dice by two and the number being equal to the number of these fruit resources that I have. Again, these resources are attached to my colony, or my home world, so I have two resources, so I can increase two of my dice by one. And so we're going to go ahead and increase the yellow dice 
uh, by one. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna increase this pink one by one and this yellow one by one, and then we're gonna exchange these dice here. So we're gonna turn this one to a black die. The two sixes become one black six. The two fives become one black five. And now we're gonna try and deal with this. So we've got five, uh, nine, and <laughs> how about this? Five, 10, 16, 18, there. And now all we need to do is spend nine of my science, which we're gonna have to spend 11 for it, and there we go. We've completed that encounter, saving us some heartache on the next round. So we've done that. And now we have these dice left. And we are fresh out of science. I would really love to work on getting some of these cards. I just don't know that that's going to happen. Um, in fact, I'm sure I can't work on any of these cards. So I think I'm going to actually use four of these cards. Or four of these dice to gain one of these cards. So now that I've spent everything, we're going to go ahead and do the results phase. I gain this card. Finally. We'll discard the influence there. We'll gain this card and we'll stick it under here. So now I have extra dice I can roll. Now I have two water and two radioactive materials, which is going to be helpful. All right, now we move on to this. So we're spending these four here, and I don't know which one I want to take. I think I'm going to take this one because this one looks easier to complete overall, and it has a better stats that I like there. Also, I like this being able to use this ability right now. So we're going to go ahead and take this one as science all right we're going to discard these tokens here all the dice and move on to the next round so discarding the top card of the deck as per the adversary adding one influence here no influence to be added here since there are no encounters and then we're going to go ahead and roll for the escalation so Two pinks, one blue, and we lose these two dice. Okay. Now we gain our dice, or sorry, now discovery phase. Now, quick reminder, if I do not defeat their level or gain a level this round, I will lose the game. Okay. Okay. So now we get four yellows. We get um, five pinks and three blues. Okay, as well as four tech tokens. All right, so here we go. All right, not a horrible roll. Okay, so what we need is we need a six, a five, and 16 blue. I think we can do that. So first of all, we are going to use the ability, this one here, to increase, uh, looks like just one of my dice by one, and that's all I need. I need a six yellow, so we're going to increase this one to a six, and we're going to go ahead and place that up there. Then we're going to take the five and place that there. And now we just need 16 blue. And so let's go ahead and look at the rest of my abilities here. I can um, gain a three black. And then I can turn two of these... We'll turn these two into three blacks. And now, um, let's see what else we can do. Now, I, I can spend science to, to roll and gain um, dice for that. 
Um, I could also spend fleet to increase the dice amount if I wanted to. And I think what I'm going to do, I, I probably should have rolled to increase that uh, 5 to a 6. I'm mean, sorry, used a, a ship to increase that 5 to a 6, but whatever. So right now we're sitting on uh, 13 here. And we, so we just need um, three more. So I think what we should do is just go ahead and combine. Um, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll just do it. We'll spend the research to gain a black die. It's a three black. Check that out. Okay. So now we have three, six, nine, twelve. 16 which is everything we need for that okay so that's done let's move on to here let's get some stuff going here all right so we have this one here that says must fill the top row before the bottom row in order, in order to access the bottom row i don't have seven blue i could um by turning these two fives into a, a black five and two of these into a black two don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, this one says no dice with a value of of six. Let's go ahead and work on that one. So we got it needs a seven yellow, which I have right here. So we'll go ahead and place that there. It needs a five. Uh, well, a three red. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend one ship. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it, but we're going to spend one ship to increase this to a three and place that there. And then we're going to turn these two five pinks into a five black and place that there. We have one die left, so let's just go ahead and place it here, which is going to grant us one ship to our fleet. Let's resolve. So this here, so the way these work is I've completed the top and bottom rows. So now I gain that much influence to this card. So we'll take these off here, take the top card of the deck and place it underneath. So now it has two influence. I need three to gain this card. So I just need to fill this top or bottom row the next round. And then over here, we're going to um, resolve this. So I completed this here. The top row. This is the latest I've ever completed the top row in this uh, with this adversary. So we're going to remove that token. We're going to gain it down here. Now I can use that token to prevent the being overwhelmed and losing. We're going to spend this token or this die here to gain another ship. So now we're back up to four ships. And then that's that. We'll get rid of our tokens here. And now we're moving on to the next round. All right. So now it's the adversary. We discard the top card of the deck. We are going to add one influence here. We would add influence if there were any counters here. Now that they've got three, we're going to take this here, discard these, add another um, colony to the fleet here. So now, when they escalate, they are going to be rolling a lot of dice. But now that we've removed one of their tokens here, they have to get a four or higher for that. We do want to consider soon trying to get these yellow dice back, which is going to cost at least six research. So we should look into that this next round. All right, now that that's done, we go to the discovery phase. We already have four areas out there for discovery, so we don't need to add any more. Then we gain dice. Now I can only gain four yellows, even though I'm, I'm due five. And uh, by the way, I don't lose this token until the beginning of the next round. It's always at the beginning of the adversary phase that you check to see if uh, you're overwhelmed. And he didn't have the second colony card until during the adversary phase. 
All right, so I got my four yellows, my five pinks here, and my three blues. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and roll this. And... Oh, and I gained my four tokens here. Oh, I forgot. I think I may have forgotten one or two of those tokens. We'll throw one in there for good measure. I could be wrong on that. I think that's right. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we got a lot of big numbers. Big numbers are good unless they say you can't use sixes. <laughs> like this one says you can't use sixes. Um, so we just need... Um, one of these rows to finish this one out. We're gonna look at these other ones here. I do like this one for its stats. A yellow and a blue is good because we're fighting against yellow and blue uh, areas up here. Um, this one is good for um, the yellow and the water. That'll give us our third water resource. This one has a radioactive material resource, so we may wanna look at that one. But let's start here, because we have a lot of the stuff for it. So we're going to go here and put 7 there. So again, we must fill the, the top row before the bottom row. We're going to put these two here. So those two are done. That's going to net us 3 influence. We need 5 total there. So it's still going to take at least one more round. Then we're going to look up here. Um, we need... A, we need seven worth of yellow here or a three red and a, a four yellow. I keep saying red. Is it pink? Red? I'm not sure. But anyways, moving on. We also have our abilities that we can use. And um, so I'm looking at this one here. I think we're going to go ahead and use this one here. And this one says to roll a pink one and then I gain a f four pink if I have two well for each two radioactive resources I only have three total here I will gain a four pink so we'll go ahead and roll this one it's a one but we gain a four okay and then um, I think we're gonna try I don't know if I can pull off getting this one. Let me see. We need 10. Let's see what we can do. We can um, use this one here that says exchange two dice for two black threes. So that's worth it. And actually that gives us, whoops, that gives us our 10 blue there. So we just need a six and a three here. We still have to work on this here. Um, let's go ahead and spend this last tech here, gaining another three die. And so we're going to take the three and the five here, put that there. And then we just need a three pink. And we'll turn these two yellows into a six here. And the last thing that we need to do is we need more science. So we're going to spend these three here to do a probe. So it looks like we accomplished quite a lot this round. So let's go ahead and finish this out. We're going to do our results. This one results here. Gaining three influence. So I'll do this. This one results here. Gaining one influence. And so we gain one influence. And now that we have all three, we're going to gain this card. And we'll discard these here. This is the longest video I've done, so I had to drink some water there. I've not made a video this long. Alright, so we gained this card. It's got a yellow and a tech token, or I can gain this tech that says um, roll a pink die or spend two ships to gain a pink six and a black three. That's very, very, very tempting. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to gain that. 
as a tech. We've been getting four tech tokens and not using them all. So let's go ahead and gain that. These two were completed here, gaining a total of three influence. All right. So now, before I get that last influence on here, we've reached the end of this the the main deck so we're gonna set this card aside here we're gonna have to reveal this actually i'll set it up here for now we'll have to reveal that at the beginning of the adversary phase so now we take the deck here and we're gonna reshuffle it and then um stick it back on top of the stack of adversary events there not forgetting that we need one more influence here and we'll place that there. Last thing to resolve is the probe here, which means we'll drop, draw the top card here and add it to our research. That gives us two, which is all actually all we needed um, because we need six to gain these dice back, which we will do during the next action phase. Okay, now we are at the end of the round. We're gonna discard these tokens here. And we move on to the beginning of the adversary phase. First things first, we would be overwhelmed, but we discard the, the red token that we earned to avoid being overwhelmed. Next thing up, we reveal this card here. And this card says that I have to add a pink, yellow, blue, and a tech token to the horde. Just automatically. And then it gains this as a bonus colony. So now it's at three colonies. Which really puts me in a bad position. Because I definitely need to level up. Again, I lose if at the beginning of the uh, adversary phase. He has at least twice as many colonies as my level. But right now he's got three times as many colonies. Now if I level up, that puts me in a better position. But... Um, I have to be really careful at this point. It's going to be a pretty close race here. Um, and then we're going to discard a card as normal. And we're going to add one influence. No influence to add here. And then um, we're going to escalate. And now he's going to roll three blues, three pinks, and two yellows. He has to get four or higher. For these all right so we lose this one this one this one and this one and this oh my goodness look at all these dice okay that's okay we'll gain a lot of those back and I'll show you how moving on to the discovery phase we gain that card to the display we gain the dice that I can roll which is the rest of the pinks and it's it's rest of the dice. It's not nearly enough. And, oh, I forgot to uh, add one tech token again. So we're almost running out of tech tokens, too. So we got to be careful on that. All right, so we're going to roll these dice. It's not bad, but it's not what I'm concerned about right now. Okay, now we need to get some of these dice back. So once again, we can do the action negotiate. And you can do it twice per turn. Um, so first of all, we're going to spend six research or science to gain all the yellows back to the pool. Half of these I will gain. So three of these I will gain. And we're going to roll those here and add these here. Okay. Next, if I want those blues, which I do, or the pinks, we know the pinks. I have to spend four ships, which I can, but I think I want the blues. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to gain those blues here. And the way you gain the blues is you have to discard three influence from locations for all the blues. So. I can either, um, you know, do two and one or one and two or just three from one. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just discard all three of these. 
Okay, so it loses all that influence there. But I gain all the blues. Three of these will go back to the pool, and three I will roll. Look at that, beautiful roll. Okay. Now, we need to level up. Now, there's one way to level up for sure. Okay? And that is... Um, at the end of the results phase, if there's nothing here in the discovery zone, I can level up. All right. So what I may want to do is research a lot of this stuff and get it out of here. So if I do that, I'll need a lot of dice. Um, also, I can try and gain this one here. Let's let's just go ahead and knock that one out. Because it's worth it. I've already put three influence in it. So we're going to add these dice here. That's good to go. I'm going to get that card. So now I just need to get rid of these cards here. That's going to take a total of 11 dice. I currently have 10. But I can use my abilities to increase that. And we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to do this one, this one, and this one as well as this one. So we're gonna do all four of them. Um, this one gains me a three black. This one lets me roll a pink die. Um, now what I can do is I can um, put this one back. You can always return a die to the pool to use it for an ability, but maybe I just don't need that. I don't need that at all. All right, this one lets me roll black or use one of these texts, and let's see. I'll just roll the black. And that gives me a two black, and then I can exchange two of these dice for three blacks. I'm actually gonna exchange these, these two here to make them a three. That's from this ability. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Just enough. All right, so we're going to do 11 dice. I'm just going to leave them all here, but they're going to go to the research lab. Um, and then we're going to put one here. We're going to gain a, a, a ship. Let's go ahead and resolve everything. Resolve that. That is going to add a total of three influence, so this card would flip around. We'd add a, a third card to this, making a total of six influence, which is more than enough to gain this card. We're going to gain this card, and we're going to add it here. So I want those extra yellow dice to roll. Now we're at three water, which is good. And now we're gonna do this. All right, all 11 dice. It's gonna research all this. And now that we've cleared, well, let's go ahead and gain my ship. And now we're at the end of the results phase. A couple things can happen. First, I'm gonna level up. All right, so I gain this one here and goes here. So I've leveled up. I'm in a good position for the next round or else I would have lost. I mean, that's kind of how it's, it would have gone because uh, I would have been overwhelmed next turn. So we had to do that. Next up, um, I could spend this uh, science. I have 11 science. I could spend it to upgrade my star base to level three. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to have the science available to use. All right, so let's go ahead and discard these tokens here. And we're going to move on to the adversary round. So the adversary is going to um, uh, discard a card, gain an influence. And then escalate. So it's going to do three pinks, two yellows, and three blues. As well as one tech token. Three pinks, three blues, two yellows. Okay, by the way, now that I'm level two, I can go ahead and try and go to that next level. Which we should really consider in the next round. All right. Uh, dice weren't too unkind to me on that roll. So the rest of these go back in the pool. Now we're going to go to discovery phase. So we're going to gain four cards here. And the first thing that we're going to want to look at 
is the resources. Do I have enough resources to level up? So I can I need to have either six of one resource, four each of two resources, or three each of three resources. I have three waters here. This makes four or five waters. I have two radioactive materials, two mineral materials, and one fruit. So it's still not enough to level up. It's too bad. All right, let's go ahead and gain dice and tokens and stuff for the next round. So we got five tokens. Not that we're going to need that many. We can roll up to six yellows. Three blues. And five pinks, but we only have three pinks here. Okay. We're going to gain those pinks back. All right, that's our roll. The blues were not kind. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna do, we're gonna negotiate with the horde. Spending four ships to gain all these pink dice. We get half of them rounded up, so we get three of them. Rolling them. It's four, two, and a one. All right, so now, um, we either want to look at attacking them or look at um, the field here and see if we want to tackle some of these. So we definitely need to be able to roll more blue dice. So either we need to work on either of these two because these give blue dice. Also, this one's not bad. Um, I think we're going to do this one here. This one I think will be the easiest to accomplish. All dice here must have different values. Um, yeah, so we'll work on this and then I think we're gonna leave these two waters here. I think we'll research this one out. And the reason why is if the next card that draws is a water, res uh, water resource, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six water resources, which would cause me to level up again. So, um, we definitely want to aim for that. Okay. So first things first, let's go ahead and look at our text. So we need dice here must have different values. Um, so, I mean, we could exchange some of these for black dice, but let's go ahead and do our text first. We're going to gain a black dice with a value of four from this ability. We're going to use this ability here to return two dice and gain um, gain two blue or two black threes. And so right now we can go ahead and do this, and then um, we need a six. What else can we, we can roll a uh, a pink one here. Let's go ahead and do that. It's a three. Is there one more thing we can do? Um, this one here says roll a yellow for each mineral. I may return a die to roll yellow. Could do that. Or I just roll a black off my normal ability. I think that's what we're going to do. Another three. Okay, so I need, um, I need another die of a different value here. Basically, I need a five. A five red, or five pink. So we're gonna go ahead and spend my last ship to make this a five. Again, the dice here have to be different values. So we got that done. We're gonna wanna gain chips anyways, um, so let's go ahead and look at that. We also may wanna do this here. 
at least at least this we can oh yeah actually we can work on that one too let's go ahead and do that so I got the 6-2 there we're going to turn the 6-5 yellow into a 5 black and then we're going to put a uh, 3 black there so we'll be able to work on both of those which will be good all right so now I have a total of nine dice left I definitely want some more ships we have three of a kind here that'll give us three ships and then we want to clear these here so that's going to take five dice there we have one dice left over for more ships so oh no we don't want to clear this one so let's um let's just gain a bunch of ships so we're gonna put those two threes there and three here for this one all right so now let's go ahead and resolve so this one and this one are both going to get two influence each the deck's almost out again and then these six here are going to end up giving us six ships Okay. And then these three here are going to give us this one as a research. All right. We're going to discard these tokens here. And we're going to move on to the uh, next round. Starting with the uh, adversary here, we discard a card. We are adding an influence to it and now it's going to gain another colony okay that puts it at four which is double our our society level so we got to or federation level we got to be careful with that um so we got to level up or defeat this next row in order to stay in the game all right now on to the discovery phase we're going to add this one here it was not a water so we're not going to be able to level up this round so we absolutely positively have to attack the base the the colony fleet all right so now we get three blues five pinks six yellows Okay, let's go ahead and roll. Actually, not a bad roll overall. Okay, so we got the six yellow that we needed there. We have the ability to make um, a six blue rather easily. So we can turn these two into a six black. We also have the ability to spend some of this science for black dice, which we may just do. We also want to consider working on either of these here to gain them. So let's go ahead and spend some science. I, I think we need to get these dice going. So I have three seven I have 14 science which if I spend it all will gain me four black dice and I think I we gotta gotta take some risks here so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna roll these four black dice actually I'm gonna keep one by and I'll explain that in a second so three dice okay four three two and then um let's look at our abilities i forgot to gain my tokens here so first of all we're going to gain a black one at the value of four we're gonna roll a pink one 
So that's a five. And then um, I'm not sure how we're going to use the other two. Let's go ahead and focus on the base for a second. We need 20 blue here. We have 13. We can spend um, seven more here. That gives us a 20. So we're all set there. Now let's look at completing this one here. So it takes 10 pink for that one. And this one takes eight pink. Um, but I can get a, uh, a six pink here if I use my ability. So we'll go ahead and use my ability, gain a six pink automatically. We're gonna use the six and the two here. And so both of these will give me enough influence to gain both these cards. So now we have these ones left here and let's look at um, possibly adding some science or we can uh, deal with this one here. It says no black dice. So maybe we just go ahead and spend that seven there. We can't get the uh, other influence here, but we were working on that one and maybe we take this one out because we want to clear some of these and hope we get enough to level up. So we're going to spend four there. All right, so let's move on to the results phase. Result here and here is going to gain a card each. Putting them both at above three influence, which is going to um, gain us both those cards. All right, so now what to do with these. I like this one that lets me gain a six red or pink. Sorry, I keep saying both of those. And then this one here is going to allow me to roll one more blue. Although, maybe looking at these high numbers of blues, I think we may want to have that as an option. So now we can roll five blue around. All right. This one here is going to gain one influence. That deck is about to run out. And then these four here are going to gain this here. And then we completed this here, granting us one of these tokens, which we will have to spend at the beginning of the next turn. Okay. So this is where we stand. Um, we are now at four waters, two radioactive and two, or one mineral and one um, fruit. There's actually five waters here. So we should, should be able to level up, I think, when we draw the new cards. All right, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these tech tokens. Starting off at the adversary phase, I am overwhelmed, except I spend this token, so I am not. The adversary is um, going to gain one influence, and then it's going to um, escalate. So it gains two tokens. It's going to roll four blue, three pink, and three yellow and now it's got to get a five or higher to take the dice okay so it takes two blue and looks like that's it not so bad okay so now um we've run out of the deck here so we're going to add this this will be for the next round we need to shuffle this and add cards to the discovery deck now, as you can see, this, this deck is beginning, it's nearly cut in half. We have a lot of cards underneath my um, home world. The adversary has multiple colonies. I have some, some fleets and some science. So now these, um, these events are going to come a lot, a lot more quickly here. So let's go ahead and discover these new things and we are going to level up all right so one of the level ups i have is have four each of two resources i have two radioactive materials here there's two here that's four i have four water at least so we go ahead and level up so now we've completed that so now we just need six of one resource 
or three each of three resources. I still don't have that either of those two yet. But we're in the safe zone for now. We have we're at Federation level three. It's going to take them having six colonies to overwhelm us. So we're in a good spot. We can also attack them again at that third level. And uh, we may want to consider that. we got to get the fight to them and finish them off. All right, so now we can roll up to six yellows. Uh, five pinks. And five blues. We'll also gain whatever is left of here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and roll these. We're definitely going to want to look at um, working on that one again. All right. Okay. So this needs um, four total uh, influence. So if I get both of these, we're good on that. So I think what I'm going to do to make that happen is um, I'm going to spend some ships here. Well, no, I can gain the six. No, I can't because I chose not to gain that one. <laughs> um, let's look at these abilities here. Oh, I can use this one here. Oh, and that gains me yellow six. Okay. So... We're going to go ahead and... We're just going to spend the ships. Let's just do it. It's going to cost me three ships. What I'm doing is increasing dies, dice by... Um, one value on on uh, so this this blue I'm turning blue four I'm turning into a six, this pink five I'm turning into a six. So that cost me three ships, and then I just need seven uh, yellow there. So we'll just use a five and a two. Yeah. So we got enough influence to gain that card. Okay. Now moving on. We, um, what else do I want to tackle? I kind of want to gain some influence on one of these cards and spend that influence to gain those blue dice back. Also, I can spend 20 value worth of dice here to gain all those action tokens back, which we may want to do because the next turn we're not going to get as many action tokens. Let's go ahead and spend these action tokens. So I'm going to roll a pink. It's a five. I'm going to gain a five black. I'm going to roll for black or, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to use this one here, gaining a five black. And then I can go ahead I think I'm going to work on this one here. So this one requires all dice to have the same value. So if you go top and bottom, you got to have like four fives total, which we actually have. So we have a five and a five there. Another five pink. And we'll just use a five black. So they're all the same value. We're going to get three influence there. I could work on this one. But this one, this one has an awesome ability. It has awesome stats. The ability is gain a yellow, pink, and blue, each with a value of my level plus one. So basically, it'd be a four, 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 which is really, really good. So I could start working on this, but it's going to cost me science and uh, ships every round. I do not, however, have a six pink or a six blue this round. Or I can work on increasing my fleet. Um, I could also spend some of these dice to get that, that six. It says no black dice, though. 
Um, yeah, I think I think we definitely want to look at getting some more ships. So we're gonna spend those three ones there. I think we'll spend. Maybe we should get this one. Takes five influence. Ah, uh, sorry. Lots of choices here. Nah, let's just keep keep going. We're gonna, we're gonna gain some um, some research and some chips, and I know it's gonna thin out the main deck. But I think it'll be worthwhile. I think what we're going to do is probe twice. So we're going to probe twice, gain five ships. All right, let's go ahead and finish this out. So this here is going to gain me four influence. So this flips around to two, adding two more. That's four influence there. So I gain this card. And we're going to go ahead and stick it underneath here. I actually wonder if maybe I should spend these instead of researching. Sorry, I'm gonna take back, all right? We're gonna spend these to negotiate, which would cost a total of 20 value of dice, which is that, to gain all these tech tokens back to the pool. I think it's worth it. Better than researching this round, and I can gain one more ship. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Or let's see, we need to gain two influence here. Three influence. And then we're going to gain six ships total here. So, one, two, three cards. It's a lot of ships. But we're going to use them next round to get some stuff done. Alright, discarding our tech tokens here. And... We are going to move on to uh, the next round. All right, the beginning of the adversary, we have the adversary event here. It says that players must do two of the following. Exile a colony, exile a tech, exile two tokens here, or add um, an influence to the adversary. I do want to check something on that exile. Exile. Yeah, so if, if I take... I could take these two tokens and put them in the game box. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I don't think I'm going to need more than two tokens this game. So that's one thing. And then I can exile a colony, exile a tech, or um, add one influence to the adversary. So I think we're going to exile a colony and we're going to exile this one here that gives me two stars because i've gained enough stars otherwise so we're going to go ahead and exile that and that goes in the game box okay and then he gains this as a colony so now they're up to five all right and I forget if I discarded a card. No, I haven't yet, because I just did the event. So we're going to discard a card. We're going to add an influence. There are no encounters in here to add influence to. And so we're going to escalate. So three yellows, four blues, three pinks, and four of these tokens. So four tokens there. Four blues. Three and three. Oof. So it gains two yellow or three yellows and a blue. Ouch. All right. So now we go to discovery phase, revealing this card here. It is an encounter. So we got to be careful with that. And we're going to gain, we would have gained six yellow. 
We're going to gain five pink and as many blues as I can here. As well as five stars. Okay, we're going to go ahead and roll these here. Okay, now we got to look at attacking him. All right, first things first, I want to get those uh, those blue dice back. So I'm going to spend three influence here off of one of my locations to gain these blue dice back. That's going to gain me two of them to roll. So three and a two. Now we're going to start working on this. So I have a six here. I need a six yellow, so we're going to spend one ship to turn this into a six from a five. And then we need 28 blue. All right, so we got nine um, plus nine, so that's 18. Let's, um, we can spend two tokens here and gain two five blacks. And there's our 28 blue. All right, now we can focus on what's going on here. Let's go ahead and spend one token to roll pink. It's a five, we needed that too. And then um, we can use one of these abilities here and we're gonna go ahead and use this one here, which uh, is gonna gain me a pink, yellow and blue with a value of four each. We're going to return this yellow before we do that. Now we're going to gain those here. All right. So looking at the situation here, I do want to check to see where I'm at on resources. Still have five water. There's two mineral, three and two. So still not enough to level up. So we won't be able to attack the final boss, the, the boss for the final token just yet, but we're working on it. Okay, so I use that token there. I don't know how I ended up with six. And then I can return two dice to gain the threes here. Two, three. Actually, we're level up, so it's... uh fours now. Okay. So we we'll want to look at this one here and see if we can't take care of it, which I think we can. So we're going to spend one ship to increase one of these black die, make that a five. Now we just need seven yellow there. And then we need to spend seven research or science indicated by this token here. So we got that done. Okay. Now, which of these do I want? I, I think I'm just going to go for this one again. I have two fives here. I just need to increase these each by one. And that's going to make two more fives there. And then I have four left here. I could buy some more ships or I could research. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy one ship and research that. So one ship, well, I'm not supposed to resolve that yet. All right, so let's go ahead and resolve. We're gonna gain three influence here. Um, we're gonna gain this one here. And um, we're going to take this as an ability. Okay. We finish this off here. So we gain that red token. We're going to research this one here. Which says discard three cards if I studied it. Which I did. 
So one, two, three. That's probably not a good idea. And then one here to add another ship. So we're back up to six. All right, here's the hope and we level up this round so we can just take on the boss. Go ahead and set these tokens here. All right, so we go on to the adversary phase. We discard a card. Add an influence, which is gonna cause them to get three. Discard those, add one colony. Okay. So now they are up to six colonies, which is at our max, but that won't affect till the beginning of the next round. We're gonna go ahead and go into the discovery phase, adding two cards. All right, let's check. We got one, two, three, four, five, six water, which causes us to level up. Have six of one resource. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So now we can gather our dice and our abilities. I think we can just take on the boss. Let's go for it. We need 28 yellow, 35 blue. It seems impossible, but I think we can do it. Five. All the yellows. And then the five pinks. All right, let's, let's go. We got this. Okay. All right, so first things first, we want to look at, um, we need 28 yellow. I'm just going to line these up here. So right now we're sitting on 13 yellow. And we're sitting on 18 blue. So let's see what we can accomplish. We know we can get two five blacks here. Okay. Just add those right there. We also know that we can exchange, actually those would be six blacks now, since we leveled up. We can exchange two dice for that many four blacks, or three dice. So we can exchange these three dice here for four blacks. We'll do a recount in a sec. Let's just build up all this stuff. All right. Um, I can roll two, or let's see, do this one here, gaining the, these three as fives now. I'm using this ability from my ability. Okay. All right. We're probably like really close. Okay, so we got um, 5, 10, plus 12, so 22, so we need 6, so there's 28, so we're done with the yellow. We got 10, 20, 31, we just need 4, that's not going to be hard, we have multiple ways to accomplish it, but we go ahead and exchange these two 5s for a 5, and there you have it, we beat the Nebel Woober Colony Fleet. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. It is um, a bit of a longer game. There's a lot more involved than um, its spiritual successor, or yeah, its spiritual successor, um, or you know what I mean. It's a lot more involved than the uh, One Deck Dungeon. Uh, there's a lot more moving parts to this one. The way the cards are used for resources and um, influence and all that stuff and the way it thins out the deck. All these things adds a neat layer to the game. Um, but it seemed like I wasn't going to win there for a while and then we pulled on through. So I'm very happy for the win. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, tell me what you think about the game. Despite the rule book, I think it's a really good game. I, I haven't even started with the uh, the campaign yet there's a whole 24 page uh pad of different campaigns here um so i may start that soon give that a shot i i 
I've only played this adversary, and I've only won twice against the adversary, so um, I may try the other other adversaries first. But either way, I'm not going to keep you any much longer here. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you liked the content you see here. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching Tabletop for One, and have a great night.